Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another episode of Nexus Core Unboxing, where today we are going to be unboxing GBT-10 Raging Clash of the Blade Fangs. Oh, fuck, I'm excited because cool Paladin. Anyways, let's just open this shit right up. Eh. These keys don't cut. Hopefully that's as much as we need the keys for. All right. So getting right to it. Got a beautiful box here, nothing on the back. Strange. All right, so the clans we got, hopefully I can pronounce this correct this time. We got Gold Paladin, Shadow Paladin, Royal Paladin, Tachi, Kaze, Murakumo, Nova Grappler, Neo Nectar, and Kray Elementals as usual. So, let's just get right into it. Ooh, come on, baby. Yeah, ooh, box toppers. Yeah, ooh. These are the special critical triggers. Let's just, should we open these last? Let's open them last. Save those for later. All right, make my life easier. Let's turn these suckers backwards, or sideways, I mean, not backwards. There's one more on the bottom. There we go. Let's grab all of these guys, turn them sideways as well. Ooh, pretty. All right, starting off with our first card. We got... Dun, 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 dun. All right, so... We already got, starting off with Nova Grappler, we got Petite Ace, Savage Lancer, Savage Head, <laughs> Head. Ooh, reprint of Red Lightning. That is really cool, I'm liking that. And we got, um, honestly, big, really big letdown for the big first pack. This card is, every time you drive check a grade three, you choose a new guard standing, gets plus 5K for maybe an Assure Kaiser deck, yay. All right, uh, foils, commons. Second pack, we've got Steel Bullet Dragon Barrage Rex. This is for the Rex deck, I'm guessing. Knight of the Crescent Moon, Gratia. So it's a brave unit, grade three. No one's gonna run it, because we have alt miles now. Uh, Waterback Knight, the Mias. Brave, this unit gets plus 2k, so 11k beater. Brave, okay. When this is placed, if the number of cards in your hand is one or less, it gets plus 4k. Okay, 15k attacker. Obviously a common. Murakumo heal. It's a pretty, pretty art. Oyama cat. Very cute. Very cute, Murakumo. And we got Teaching Knight. Huden for Huden. Huden. For Gold Paladin, skill is Unite. Uh, when this card hits, uh, if it hits a Vanguard, you can pay the cost, like a four cards on the top of your deck. And choose one of them called the rare and it gets plus 3k. So it's basically, if you remember, Don Valo from GBT 03. Same skill, except this one has to be in Unite and this one gives it plus 3k. All right, this one's easier because this one only has one foil per pack, unlike the Tri-3 booster. So I don't mess up this time. Last goal, things get boost. Ooh, Liberator Stiletto Hawk. So this is when it's placed on rear. Uh, it gets, if it's placed due to effect of your cards, it gets minus 2k and boost, it becomes like a 7k booster. Um, pointless, grade two, it just gives 2k to stuff. Louder Ammonite. During your break one, when this is retired from the effect of your card, pay the cost, return this to your hand. And if it was retired to the effect of engorge, counter charge. Eh, draws are better. And we've got Savage Mystique. Uh, when it's tired for effect, you can bind a face. Oh, so this card helps with the, the Rex deck. Yeah, Rex combos, yay. Said no Tachikave player ever. I just hope we get something good in this one. Aladdin. Oh, it's a ritual card. This card was so blue and bright, I could barely tell it was a Shadow Paladin card. Our first Neo Nectar card, what does this do? Uh, when it hits Vanguard, battle boosted, pay cost, choose one of your search rears or units, search your copy, call it to your bloom, Billy, blah, blah, blah. So, calling with bloom, cost of soul blast, and you have to retire it. Ooh, retire it. Eh. More shell paladin. Choose a grand less from your hand, discard it, when it's placed on rear, reveal the top three cards deck, choose one of the lowest grade among them, put it into your hand. That's a really weird card, honestly. Mercuma crits. Cool art. Mercumo got some cool art this time. And Holy Dragon Attract Rune Dragon. So Brave, search for a grade 2 of the Bravability Culture. Generic, 
Good for new players. Not bad. Not terrible. Next back. More, ooh, Ancient Dragon support. So that's cool. Uh, thing gets plus 2k and 5k shield when you unite. Cool. Chase Skull. Uh, when it's placed in guard, you can do stuff and draw a card. Yay! Reprint for Ancient Dragon Down Dial. I actually really love this reprint for Dino Dial. I'm loving it. Quintet Wall and Ritual 3. This gets plus 10k shield. What do you think, Ritual players? You gonna play this? The answer is no. I noticed that's kind of funny how all the Quintet Walls are becoming single rares now. Just saying. More Murakuma cards. This is Calamity Tower Clone or... Uh, what was that OTT card, the Phoenix thing? That was the first one that did it. Uh, ooh, the Stride Fodder for Blaus. Now, now that's something that you all can look forward to is a Blau Cougar deck that might be coming up soon. Um, Stealth Fiend, Murder, and on. So we can have the word murder, but we can't have the word damned for Aura Geyser Doomed. Interesting. Uh, da, da, da. When this is placed in reared effect of a card, this gets minus 2k. And to the end of this is boost. So it's literally just the Liberator card. It's like the same, same exact text, but for a different clan. Okie dokie. New heal for Tachikaze, but it's not a waifu. Ooh! Hello! Hallelujah. Holy Sword of Heavenly Law Guardian. So this is Act, Counter Blast 1, choose a face down card. Holy, uh, Holy Sword of Heavenly Law from g for your face up. And you have to discard a card. And then this card gets, uh, when it attacks, um, you can look at the top seven cards, call one among them, and then for each face-up card with Gurgit in your G zone, uh, they all your rear or all your units gain um, plus two K. So for all your units with Gurgit face up in your G zone, so this counts for towards Radiant Sword Gurgit too. This is really nice. So we got our first triple rare. Ah let's put that. Let's put them right here. It deserves to be noticed. Yeah. You deserve it, buddy. Next pack. More Blouse support, more Rex support. Um, Wrap Rex, some more Rex support. Stealth Fiend, oh, Dark Spider. Got a reprint too, that's Coolio. And Knight of Encouragement, Halburn. Soul Blast won't retire this unit. When your grade two unit with the bravery is retired, pay the cost, I'll return that to your hand. Mm -hmm. yeah. eh. We've got more Tachikaze support. Furious Puncher. People are definitely gonna run this in uh, a draw victor. So this is Rush. When this stands to the effect of one of your cards, you choose one of your other units and it gets plus 5k. So you put this in front of uh, Sazanda, you put this in front of the new Sazanda, I forgot what it was called, but it's a promo. And uh, that's gonna be a fun column. Retire this unit, choose one of your regards, stand it. Uh, not sure how many people are gonna use the act ability, but that Rush, that Rush ability. More Blau Cougars. Uh, when your other units stand to effect of your Blau, stand this unit, plus 3k. Eh. Okay, yeah, why not? Not bad. More Tachikaze triggers. And we got Holy Mage Alicia. Wow, I am pulling my gold ballad and stuff here. And it is sad because I actually did a case split. So I'm just getting more stuff than I already have. But I, hey, I, I can use more, I can use more. All right. We got Bernagall Liberator. So it's just give something else boost, basically. Spurt Centaur. Oh my gosh. Nova Grappler and their weird, crazy cards. Uh, so less one, choose one of your rear guns, sink claws, this unit, turn it to your hand. This is standard for one of your cards. This unit gets plus 5k. R weird brush card, but hey, you know, people can make use of them. Murakumo Forerunner. So this is for the uh, Hiaki Vogue reverse deck. New Nova Grappler Heal Trigger and Dark Dragon Animus Pile Dragon. Ritual 3, this gets plus 5k for each uh, grade one in your drop zone. So what's it called? This card's kind of like Scourge Point Dragon, beefing up your Vanguard for just boost. And next up, Stealth Fiend Watayuki. Watayuki's skill is all of your rigors the same columns this unit get this cannot be put into your deck by card effects. Oh, because so it's to keep stuff on your field for more cloning in the future. Claydol Chariot. Uh, so we got we finally got our Soul Blast 2 Unflip 2 for uh, Nova Grappler. So some people might run that. Ooh, a new a Bloom Grade 3. This art's really pretty. Uh, when your unit with the same name as this, as this unit is placed on rear, choose all your units with the Bloom ability and they all get boost. Mm, okay, 
other ability once per turn when your unit is placed on rear if you have another unit seen as you know, that unit is plus 3k so power ups being able to boost with units it's, it's okay uh good for people who are trying to build bloom without you know throwing away their wallet uh triggers and our foil is a tachikaze stride assist stride fodder thingamabob so at the beginning of your ride phase you pay the cost retire this unit and you may stride without paying the cost so it's uh ott got a card like this except it was uh, a grade one 6k and it, you actually draw you stuff kind of weird how tachikaze has to get a grade three version of this yeah i don't know bushy why honestly <laughs> Support man. More Murakuma cards. We've got um, Stealth Rogue Nirvana uh, Yagaki. Choose one of your units in the same. Oh, I see it. I'm gonna hide that foil back there. Choose one of your units in the same color as this unit. Just reject for the one card the same name is called to rare. Okay, not bad. What else does it do? Memory finish. Shuffle your deck at the end of the turn, put the unit called back in the bottom of your deck. Makes sense. More Rex support, Rex starter. Uh, when this is retired from effect by your Rex, choose one of your units, search your. Two grade one or greater Rex in the same column in the rear, and that then you turn bind those face up. So helping you bind more stuff and get more attacks with the Rex deck. Uh, grade one with a ritual till the end. This gets plus one for each. You know the ritual ability. Yay! Uh, retire this unit at the beginning of main phase on flip. Yay! No one's gonna run this. Murakuma cat and ooh, our second triple rare is governing flower princess Selfina. I'm gonna summarize this. You flip up something, probably Selfina. And uh, you choose your rear guards, it's the same number of cards facing your G zone, they get plus 2k. Yeah. And then you search your deck for the units of the same name as those units, so even if they have different names, you can search them. And for each face up, Selfina. So if you got like two Anelmas, uh, you pick Anelma and they all get 2k for each face up. Current G zone, so like one Selfina, if this is your first drive. And then if for each face up Sophina you call another card. So you search a deck for an another Nelma and call it. And then um, if you call two or more cards, it gets a crit. Not bad. I, I, I honestly like it. Gabe's probably gonna run it. So that's a fun card to run. Kind of funny how Neon Extra really didn't get that much support in this set at all. What is that? Is that a, it's a pepper. It's a paprika. I can't read. It's a four runner. Uh, choose one of units and gets boost, okay. Nice scramble. It's a grade three ritual that no one's gonna run. Oh, um, there's a combo with this card with the old Gaia, where if you uh, retire this with the G Guardian and you choose one use in the Gorge Billion, if that's not being Gorge, you can have it become engorged. And Gaia has the ability that when it is engorged, it gets plus 5k. So if you use the Tachikaze G Guard, retire Elk, choose Gaia, make it engorge, your Gaia is now sitting on a 16k base. Not bad, defensive. We got Ammonite again. Ooh, wow. I'm telling you guys, Gold Paladin is with me today. Golden Knight of Gleaming Flame Garmore. There is a really, really, really fun combo combo with this card in the Liberator Garmore deck, and I can't wait to show that to you guys. It's gonna be great. So I'll save that for later. I'm actually having a lot of fun with this. We got, okay, Child Dragon Dino Baby, so Tachikaze Forerunner. Choose one of your units in the front row, it gets plus 2k if you rest this, and then put this in your ultra unit, it gets plus 2k. No, uh, Murakumo card, Yaki support. Very shy grill elf. Stand trigger for a Nova Grappler, put this in the bottom of the deck when this, you know, stand, pay the cost, draw a card, choose one of your and stand it. That's actually not bad, and it's a recyclable trigger. That's pretty good, it's too bad Nova Grappler needs draw triggers. And we got Sacred Tree Dragon Resonate Dragon. When, uh, Bloom, when you're the unit with the same name as this unit, it's based on rear, that unit, this unit get plus 8k. So you would have to call your heart or like use um, your starter to copy your rear guard and your heart to keep this stacking this up. No one's really gonna run this card, so not really gonna matter. Well, all right. Next up, Petit Ace, Savage Lancer, uh, Savage Head, um, Generic Draw Trigger for Drag Wizards, and Charming Maiden Nicola. Uh, when your other unit in the same name as this unit is placed on rear guard, choose up to two Nicolas from your rear guard and they get plus 4k and plus 5k shield. 
Uh, you need more, a lot of Nicoles to get this off, so not that many people are going to run that. Probably, in fact, no one's going to run that. But it's a pretty funny skill. We'll see if it's usable one day. Okay, uh, Ancient Dragon, Hylian Pike. So more Ancient Dragon support. This is interesting. So blessed to occur Ancient Dragon, its name. When this is retired from rear, if you have a Vanguard with Ancient Dragon, pay the cost. If you do, call this card a rear and it gets plus 5k. So this is kind of like Tyranobite and Iguanagory, except you Soul Blast 1 instead. Which is really, really cool, actually. That's really cool for Ancient Dragons. Good on them. Uh, 10, uh, 10k base mark chrome. When this attacks, gets plus 4k, so it's generic. Uh, during your turn, if you have another thing on your rear, it gets plus 2k. So it can be a 16k beater. Uh, Stealth Dragon support, Hiaki support, choosing your grade 3 grade units gets plus 5k. So you can use this ability to rest it and then have it locked so you can make Hiaki plays. Red Lightning, uh, promo again, and we got Meteor Kaiser Unior. So this is our next double rare. So Unior skill is when it's placed on guard, if you have any face up cards in your damage, uh, if you don't have any face-up cards in your damage, sorry, you get to counter charge two, and this gets plus five K shield. So we all know no regret or counter or counter blasts a lot. And the other ability is when this is placed on guard, if you don't have any cards in your soul, you can soul charge two. Personally, I don't know how much no regrappler soul blasts, but that's a nice plus. Let's do this. All right, we've got more stealth fiends, more clay dolls. And with this grade three, or stand triggers, and we got heat element Bobo. So Bobo's skill is if you have three or less damage and this is placed, you can counter charge, soul charge, and then yet the deal one damage to your vanguard. I see this only with Angel Feather, honestly. Kind of. Kind of see it working with something. Next pack, we've got another uh, Vertigal. More centaurs, more Hyaki support, Gleaming Knight, and another uh, Shadow Paladin thing. Let's keep going. I don't really know what else I'm going to tell you guys about, talk to you guys about. Oh, then the next. The only thing I'm excited for in this set is Gold Paladin. Gabe is excited for Nova Grappler. How Owl is dumb. Toughness Chain. Ooh, cool. Ooh, nice. For Double Roar. We got uh, the Break Ride for Black Cougars. Um, we got. So the, it's a limit break. Uh, when you're Blau, when you're unit with Blau, so it has to be a Blau unit that rides this unit. Uh, you get this Vanguard's 10k when you counter blast, and when this unit attacks, the number of regrads you have standing is three or more. Uh, this gain, this your opponent can't guard Sentinels, so it's kind of like Glory Skill except strictly Sentinels. And then Soul Blast one card with Blau. When the attack of your unit with Blau hits. You can uh, counter charge, unflip. Don't know how many people are gonna run this because the other break ride uh, allows you to restand everything uh, when your Vanguard attacks. So combo that off with Galaxy, make dumb plays. More Blows, more Rex, more Rex, more Savage, and Shadow Paladin Quintet Wall again. Let's get onto it. Let's see if we can speed it up this time. Terra Kid, thing that gets plus 2k, gets the boost. Uh, spider Unflipper. Savage Mystique for Rex decks to help you bind stuff face up. Alden, that grade one that no one's gonna run. More Shadow Pound support that no one's gonna use. Generic Murkuma Draw, that's a really pretty art. And we've got, cool, Build Peak Dragon. I like this card, um, even though it's like one of the another generic single rare G units that came in the set. He allows you to unflip and soul charge when he goes back in the G zone, so that can actually be helpful in Gold Paladin decks. So I actually like that card a lot. I might even run it in my main deck. Plus goal, more uh, Liberator, Booster, Eagles, more uh, thing that gives other units plus 2k, more Criminal Crit, and uh, Hiyaki Support. So this card can also be regarded as Hiyaki Vogue Reverse. So rather than reprinting Hiyaki Vogue, they just gave us a thing that kinda is Hiyaki Vogue. And then with this playing on Van, you search your deck for one Hyaki Vogue Reverse and write as Stand, shuffle your deck if you do Counter Charge 1. So, yeah. But she should have. Could you please reprint Hyaki Vogue? That'd be cool. 
All right, more rec support. I think I saw a double rare foiling back there. Uh, child, royal paladin support might be more royal support. Ammonite. We got Blow Owl. Broke it. This card's broken. It is a broken card. Honestly, really glad I pulled it. This card's great. I am loving this box. Oh, I already see it. That's our next double R. All right, ancient dragon support. Like this card a lot. Generic Murkuma card, Hyaki Vogue support, Explorer of Good News, Draw Trigger, and Knight of Daylight Canarius. Well, to be honest, Canarius is not my favorite card because you have to discard, but he lets you call another unit. He's an okay card. All right, so we got Murkuma support, Rex support, Drag Wizard Meteor, Tachikaze heal, and we got the Murakumo uh, Quintet Wall. So with the Quintet Wall does is when it's placed, you can't bless one and soul blast one, and you get the top five cards, call it. And if there's one with the Shadow Stitch ability, this gets plus 5k. And this also gets all your grade three or less guardians. Uh, when they get retired, you can put them at the bottom of the deck. So you're not losing resources from your deck when you use this card, which is actually really nice. So it might be a one of uh, in your Murakuma deck if you're gonna build it. Might be, might be. Keyword might be. <laughs> All right, let's see what else we get. Paprikas, Ferdinand, Elk, Kitty, and uh, Super Ancient Dragon Burn Euron. So his skill is choose when you regards with Ancient Dragon, and it gets when this is retired, uh, you can put it into your hand. That's cool. And uh, choose when you regards Ancient Dragon and retire it. When this attacks, you can get plus 10k. So cool for Ancient Dragons, if people want to start getting into Ancient Dragons and start building it, this might this can be a good card to start going with when you're playing the deck. You know, because um, Gluttony Dogma is just ridiculously expensive. So rip you Tachikaze players who are trying to get into building a Tachikaze deck. Quad Gigas. Grade 3, when it gets attacks, gets plus 4k. We're, getting, we're seeing a lot of those recently. And other skills, rest and retire this unit when this hits. Choose when we regard stand it. Okay. Sucks you have to retire it. Uh, when this stand to affect one of your cards, this gets when this unit attack hits a vanguard. Uh, choose when your opponent's regards and retire it. So retiring, and this stacks. Ladies, okay. Remember to remember that red text can stack. So that means if this attacks and it restands and it attacks and it misses and it restands again, this has the on hit retire skill twice. I believe that's how this works. So this thing, the more it restands, is going to be kind of a control threat to your opponent. So if you want to run it, you can, but ideally you want to stick with the rushy power-up attacks rather than field control with Nova Grappler. Um, for a runner from Murakumo, all your other units the same column as this get resist, and if this is in the middle column, you can put in the soul and draw. Um, draw trigger for Nova Grappler, You're going to see a lot of draws in Nova Grappler. Ooh, we got the reprint. Uh, we got the reprint blah PG, that's really cool. So, um, yeah, that's gonna be, I mean, I, I think Gabe still has all his blah PGs, so I don't, I'm probably not gonna give this to him, but that's really, I'm actually, I'm cool, I'm cool with this. I'm cool with this reprint. So we got another of that retire restandard dude, more retiring stuff if it hits. This looks like the exact same pack I just pulled. <laughs> Uh, Stealth Dragon Fadao Blast. Uh, if you don't have any other units the same as this unit, this can't attack. Huh, interesting. And Oh, it's a grade 2. Yeah, I just saw the 11k and I didn't realize it was a grade. I thought it was a grade 3. Uh, act. Choose one of your cards from your hand and discard it. Search your deck for another card with this name. And to the end of turn, put that on the bottom. Okay, it's pretty cool. Yeah, we got two packs left. Alright. Pack number one. We got... Uh, or Soul Blast 2 draw, another uh, Stride Fodder, thing that gains boost when it's placed, Nova Draw, and uh, Nova Grappler Quintet Wall. Choose one of your guards with a Rush ability and it gets 10,000 shield. So, eh, eh, it's, eh. it's a card, it's a thing. All right, last pack, Dino Baby, Stealth Dragon, Katan Slayer, Hyaki Support, the Cucumber Grill, Drag Wizard, 
draw trigger and extreme battler banquet when this stand do it affect one of your cards if you have a victor vanguard this gets put this into your soul when attack hits during the battle this unit attacked or boosted you pay the cost move to soul if you do choose one of your regards the rush ability and stand it so you have to stand this first then it has to either hit on the boost or the attack and then you can put it soul and stand something that has the rush ability so it's the on hit that kind of makes this card eh, but it's still a good ability all right there are commas out of the way let's review our pulls we got canarius how uh b i was about to say how ow uh belial belau ow belau ah, okay I'm not going to try and pronounce this card's name anymore, I'm sorry. Uh, Medio, Medio Kaiser, Unior for Unflips, uh, Volmon Blood Cougar, and Alicia PG. And for our triple rares, we got Heavenly Law Gurgit, Selfina, Garmore, and uh, Reprint, we got the Blood, Blood PG. Oh, we almost forgot. Crit. Triggers. Move. All right. Okay. Very carefully now. The away. At our silver thorn critical trigger. How cool. Look at that foiling. How nice. Oh, that was a good tear right there. Oh, wow. Look at that. Is that Holder Hedgehog? That is a holder hedgehog, and I didn't bend it, I promise. Look, totally not, not bent. It's, it's still playable. Nice. It's like, that's a clean, that's a pretty clean cut. We got Machining Scorpion. I'm triggered by Machinings. Gabe used a Machining deck against me once and just, I felt literally helpless. This card's triggering me right now. All right, two more. This is our fourth one. Ooh, Battle Sister Crit for the OTT decks that no one plays anymore. I'm kidding, OTT players, but not really. I just feel really bad for y'all because, you know, you know, OTT is always the one that's made fun of not having really good or new support. I'm liking the foiling. I like it. And it's cool it's a Battle Sister card, you know, because Battle Sisters have really had a really nice support with the uh, Trinity Dragon Booster. For our final critical, we got... Ooh, Regalia of Farsight, Clear Angel. So cool, we got Pale Moon, Grey Nature, Mega Colony OTT, and Genesis for our crit triggers. So that's cool and all, so we got them. We got these nice dank triple rares. This one's the most important, obviously. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Hope you guys enjoyed our box opening of Raging Clash Blade Fangs. Raging Clash of the Blade Fangs. And yeah, let me know how I did. Let me know if you want to see more unboxings. And uh, hope you all have a great time playing Vanguard, which is kind of shocking, honestly. Anyways, I'm rambling. You guys all have a good night. See you all later.